Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stake your Ethereum with Lido, which is the largest staking service provider in the world. So if you own some Ethereum, and instead of just letting it sit idle, if you're interested in staking it and earning rewards on it, well, you can earn approximately currently 4.32% by staking that ETH with service providers like Lido. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. Now, the most basic way is that you go directly to the Lido app online and you can stake it here. Now, Lido only gives you the option to stake Ethereum directly on the Ethereum network. So if you hit stake now on their app, it's gonna bring you to this point where you can connect your Web3 wallet, which would be something like a MetaMask or a Coinbase wallet. And once your wallet is connected, you're going to be able to choose how much ETH you want to stake. So let's say I want to stake 0.1 ETH. Well, I could do that here. However, you can see that the transaction cost is gonna cost more than $10, $11.57. So that is actually a little bit expensive. And there's a couple of ways that you can lower the transaction cost for staking ETH, because if you're staking a small amount, it doesn't make sense to spend $10 on transaction costs. If you're staking a large amount, then obviously that's not really that important. Now, the first way that you can save money on transaction costs is by going to a decentralized exchange like Uniswap and then actually swapping into staked ETH. Instead of minting it directly, you can trade for it this way and you can see that the projected gas fees for this are $8.73 as opposed to almost $11 if I was gonna mint new staked ETH directly through Lido. Now, another way that you can save even more money to stake your ETH is by doing it on a layer two network. So ETH mainnet we know is the most expensive, but if you wanted to get staked ETH, for example, on the optimism layer two, you could do that and then all you have to do is switch your network and then you can use Uniswap or any other trading app to trade into wrapped staked ETH. ETH. Now, the reason why here it's called wrapped staked ETH as opposed to just staked ETH is that STETH, that ticker symbol, represents when it's on the Ethereum mainnet. But when it's on a layer two, they add the W and call it wrapped staked ETH. That's all it means. But essentially, every one W staked ETH that you hold on this represents one Ether token in real life. And over time, it automatically accrues staking rewards. So you get the benefits of staking your Ethereum without actually having to buy a specialized computer and run the software to be a true validator. And also to do that, you have to have a lot more ETH. In this case, you can stake tiny amounts, fractions of ETH, but if you want it to be your own validator, you have to have at least 32 ETH to do that, which is a pretty high bar to cross in terms of capital allocation. So yeah, that is how you stake your ETH with Lido. Now, there's other ways that you can access it. For example, in the Ledger app, which is a hardware wallet for crypto, you can actually stake with Lido directly, which is a useful feature if you want to do it that way. And of course, sometimes you can buy staked ETH on centralized crypto exchange platforms. However, if we're talking about something like Coinbase, they have their own version of staked ETH, which you can buy on their platform. Anyways, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Good luck staking your Ethereum, and I'll see you in the next video.